Hello everyone. So up till now we have discussed about various AI search algorithm and propositional logic, predicate logic. So we have discussed all these things. Now let's discuss about introduction to reasoning under uncertainty part. So in the last year that is get 24 exam there was one question from this particular topic for two marks. So we are going to discuss that right. But this is a huge topic. It's an advanced level topic. We are not going in depth because that is not required for gate exam point of view. Whatever is required for gate exam, we are going to focus that only. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Okay. So what we have discussed up till now, we have a graph like this having node A, this is B, this is C d e and let's say this is f okay so these are like this like this okay and for example this is my start node this is my goal state right so i want to go from a to f by which part it will be more suitable for me or which will give me optimal path optimal path so for that purpose we have discussed various algorithms right we have find the path cost we have find the number of nodes expand or explore to reach that particular goal state so we have done all these things now if i convert this diagram into a real world case real world example suppose i am living in uh, Bangalore okay and I want to go to Bangalore airport so this is a uh, airport in Bangalore and say I am in IISC Bangalore as of now now I want to go to airport right so from IISC to airport it is about uh, 36 kilometers right now see so which part I need to follow to reach airport if you see a google map it may show you it requires two hour to reach this particular airport now how this particular timing is going to calculate how this particular time is getting calculated by the google maps right so based on uh, this distance right we can say that so up till now what we have discussed that is ideal situation okay ideal situation we are simply considering the path that's it right but there is lot of uncertainty also if i want to go to airport right so it may have a traffic right it can have a traffic my next step my next step means what ai agent step okay ai agent so we all deals with ai bot or ai agents only so there can be a traffic due to which i can get late to reach the airport or there can be some road issue speed breaker is there construction is going on it can also lead to a it can also delay my journey right so traffic so traffic is there road issue is there or for example any animal is crossing the road it will take time to cross the road right so this type of uncertainty is there so all these are uncertainty okay we are not sure which thing will happen okay animal is crossing the road traffic is there right or it depends on the action of other drivers also actions of other drivers right what will happen if other driver other car driver will come and hit us or he can block our way also so that is also possible so all these things are uncertainty we are not sure about what is going to happen so all these are uncertainty so when i am thinking about this ai agent how this particular model we are talking about ai models now how this particular things are going to deal with this all issue right traffic road issue animal is crossing actions of another driver right so this is what we need to find out how we are going to deal with this uncertainty so what i can say technical terms that is data is incomplete data is incomplete so we are getting this uncertainty because data is incomplete here i just have a data of a distance and the path which i need to follow but this particular data is incomplete the data which i have may be noisy so data is noisy having some error into that right and next thing is that future outcomes are uncertain 
future outcomes for example action of other driver that is uncertain we cannot uh, sure about this we don't know when and how this will happen right so future outcomes are uncertain now how we are going to deal with this particular issue that is uncertainty so this all are uncertainty okay and this is what we have to discuss in this particular topic reasoning under uncertainty and who is going to make that reasoning ai agent right now just change the scenario instead of myself i am going in self driving car okay self driving car which is nothing but the ai agent only ai models only right now how this particular self driving car or model ai model is going to deal with uncertainty so that we have to discuss okay i hope you understand why this particular thing is important right because up till now what we have discussed that is ideal issue only right in real world that is not going to happen so we have to always deal with uncertainty it can be anything it can be this self driving car or diagnosis some medical thing right so that can be also a task so it can be anything it can be any task but there always be a uncertainty for example if i say medical diagnosis medical diagnosis so nowadays we use lot of ai models to detect the uh, things specifically a cancer cells right cancer cells right so in this also uncertainty is there because whatever the data we have taken maybe from a person belong to a different age group a different demographic is there right and we are trying to map the data of uh, this one person with all this data so uncertainty is there right so so in real world there is always an uncertainty in any task you can take okay so this is what we have to discuss how this ai agent is going to deal with this uncertainty topic okay okay so yeah so what is reasoning under uncertainty the fundamental concept of ai that involves making decisions or drawing conclusions when the information available is incomplete ambiguous or subject to change right so i have taken the example of self driving car right my car is going on a road like this suppose we have a two lane here my car is going like this in this direction and this is a self driving car and say one more car is there coming from this side okay we are going on different lane we are not sure about what this particular driver will do he can give the left indicator and turn right he can give the left indicator and come to this particular lane or directly he can go straight so we are not sure about what this particular driver will do right so whenever he gives the left indicator so this particular ai agent so that is self driving car should know that okay this particular car is going to come on the this particular lane right in front of me so based on that i have to make the decisions i have to draw the conclusions i means ai agent right so this is what reasoning under uncertainty is so unlike deterministic system where outcomes are predictable and certain ai system often operate in environments where uncertain is a significant factor so you can see any task that will involve uncertainty and if uncertainty is not there so we can say that particular task can be done by a simple robot also simple the strain that robot for doing particular task so he can do that task but when i am talking about the ai model that particular model should deal with uncertainty part this is what we expect from ai model right so this is what about the reasoning under uncertainty now what are the methods for this particular thing so first thing is that probabilistic model probabilistic models right so what is this probabilistic model so we are using the concept of probability to find out the uncertainty like there is 80% of chances that this particular car will come on this particular side or there is 70% of chances that there will be a traffic issue while i am going on the road right so how we are going to determine that by using a probabilistic model now when i when i talk about the probabilistic model we are going to discuss bayesian network okay very important uh, thing and for this particular topic understanding the concept of bayes theorem is very important 
I already discussed the base theorem in detail and what are the terminologies that we are going to use in this particular uh, case that also I have discussed. So first please watch that particular thing base theorem. Now next thing is what? Mark of random fields right mark of random fields. So this is also probabilistic model and both are graphical models okay. So these are graphical models okay. So we are going to focus more on Bayesian network okay. Now if you see the syllabus it is mentioned that conditional independence right. Conditional independence that is nothing but the probabilistic approach probabilistic models only right. So we are going to discuss this Bayesian network Markov random field in conditional independence only. So, this is going to come under this particular topic. Okay. So, all these things we are going to discuss under this particular topic. Okay. Because this is what mentioned in our gate syllabus. Now, what is this conditional independence? So, we know conditional probability, right? Conditional probability is that probability of finding out the A such that B is already occurred, right? Such that B is already occurred. Now, what we are going to discuss in this particular thing is that, for example, let's take a medical diagnosis example again. Now, again, I am going to detect the cancer, okay, cancer detection only. And let's say I have few symptoms, say symptom 1, symptom 2, say I have other, one more symptom like 3. Now, out of these three symptoms, X, Y and Z, which particular symptom will have significant contribution to a cancer detection? So, if that we found out, then I can say the presence of other symptom will be irrelevant. Okay. Now, if I say, for example, symptom 1, if this particular symptom is there, then the patient chances is 80% that he is having the cancer. If this symptom is there, if this symptom is there, then 70% is chances. If this particular symptom is there, then 30% of chances, right? Now, I know that out of these three symptoms, symptom 1 and symptom 2 has a significant for this particular uh, diagnosis of cancer detection. It means that symptom 3 is irrelevant, right? So, when I am going to apply the condition independence, I am going to assume this particular symptom T is independent and I am going to only see the probability using X and Y that is symptom 1 and symptom 2. So we are going to discuss this in detail don't worry about this but I hope you understand what is conditional independence it is based on Bayes theorem and condition probability only okay. Now next we have inference. If you see a topic, we have inference in our syllabus. Inference. Now there are two types. First one is exact in inference. Exact inference. And then we have approximate inference. Approximate inference, right? So this is given in our uh, syllabus, these two things. Now what is exact inference? Now, this particular thing, exact inference means what? This particular thing involves computing probability, computing exact probability, exact probability using algorithms, using various algorithms, using algorithms like uh, we have variable elimination. So, this is given in our syllabus, variable elimination. And other things is also their belief propagation, but we are not going to discuss that. We are going to focus on the syllabus that is variable elimination. So, exact inference using variable elimination is the topic that we are going to discuss in this particular course, right? Now, next we have approximate inference. Now, what is this approximate inference? Now, there can be a cases where this exact inference is not possible, or I can say. Uh, computationally infeasible. So, what I can say when exact inference is compute 
rotationally invisible then i can say then i can then i can go for this approximate inference okay when exact inference is computably invisible then i can go for then we will go for approximate inference okay now we have two topics in this particular approximate inference if you see a syllabus if you see the syllabus it is mentioned that approximate inference using sampling okay so using sampling is mentioned there so we are going to discuss two types here first one is monte carlo sampling and second one is gibbs sampling okay so we have these two sampling methods uh, in our syllabus so we are going to discuss this thing right so this is a syllabus for reasoning under uncertainty so we are going to discuss variation network and few part of markov also then we have uh, exact inference using variable elimination method then we have approximate inference using samplings that is monte carlo sampling and gibbs sampling so this is what we are going to discuss in this particular course not in detail but what is required for gate exam that's it okay i hope you understand why this particular topic is important when we are going to build a ai model okay so we are going to focus on gate syllabus for this particular case and whatever we have just discussed we are going to focus on that only bayesian network variable elimination monte carlo and gibbs sampling okay that's it so that's it from this particular video Thank you.